Testing, testing, testing. Testing. All right. Beautiful. We are live here once again in the New York session. Okay, so let's take a look here. FOMC, FOMC, FOMC. Yes, mic testing, one, two, three, Hazrat. Thank you, thank you. Pound Yen. Okay, so we're going to do some quick analysis here. Um, obviously, this, this buy was taken in the anticipation we could fill this wake up over here. But, you know, even if we now move, continue up to 1677. Awesome. The only reason I'm in this buy thinking because the rates are going to be increased. So maybe this move up on gold since the London session is a liquidity grab to continue pushing down later on. You know, probably that's why gold is pushing up just, you know, basically ranging in this range between 1679 and 1660. That's the only thing I can think of, basically. You know, so I got my stops at break even right here. So, yeah, right here. Oh, nice spread here as well. Almost like one pip over here in gold. Beautiful. That's why I like low spreads. Okay, so let's, so let's take a look at uh, pound yen over here. Let's do a little bit of a breakdown on pound yen based off of um, the four hour first. Well, we did break below, thanks to Putin. Actually, before we talk about prices and where prices went, I think it's appropriate to take a look at Forex Factory and really see what's basically happening so we had putin announces partial military mobilization the west is engaged in nuclear blackmail against russia oh nice gold pushes up because of this awesome um did you got putin buys in london i did get buys in london session but it wasn't because of putin um that was just because you know we were coming up to London Open, so I took buys. I wanted to target this consolidation to the left hand side, and when price reached here, I closed. And then, man, we continued pushing up for another 60 pips, and that's when I found out, oh shit, something's going on over there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this would have been a pretty great gain if I would have held it almost like 80, 90 pips over here. So yeah, later on today, we got FOMC. I'm I'm probably going to be busy at this time, so we'll see if there's going to be an FOMC stream or not. But um, yeah, so good luck with the FOMC, guys. Let's take a look at this chart by TD11. This is a stop loss on the 15-minute uh, candle. Got taken out. Entry was right here. Uh, a wick fill to be made. Yeah, this I took this trade today. 30-minute candle closed in his own recent 15-minute yeah what can i do better yeah this was basically because of news you know this was because of news so that's why we got this retracement that's why it wasn't a good trade and i don't know which candle you entered on either so you know it was still a very 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 risky trade because that push down was, was because of news Why did you take the buy on gold when there were three levels of resistance? Because it was time of volume. And if you go through uh, the principles in the market fluidity database, what we talk about is that the only reason the zones to the left are going to be broken and filled is if there's going to be volume in the market, right? So we consolidated yesterday, right? The entire yesterday we consolidated. And then we consolidated in Asian session, consolidated in um, like, you know, pre-London session. And then we were coming up towards this resistance in London Open. So I thought, okay, you know what, what's the probability that this, uh, I mean, London Open is going to have volume here, right? Pre-London, London Open, this was like 30 minutes before London Open. So as price broke the high over here to the left hand side, I took a buy, also anticipating that, you know, if they're increasing the rates, gold should go down. So maybe price may want to grab some liquidity before it goes down. So that's why I took buys. 
and my idea was price coming up towards you know 1672 to the left hand side so but you know putin came and price went up I caught 3,400 pips on this NAS this week. Oh, very nice. How can I enter the Zoom live? I have market fluidity. It's the link is sent in the New York session channel. So you can go check that out. Can we deposit from Pakistan? Uh, yes. You wanted to say FOMC gambling. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be later on. So we'll see. We'll see. The most important aspect of FOMC is going to be the press conference. The, the press conference is going to be the most important aspect. It depends on what they say in the press conference. So we got pound yen support. We have pound yen resistance, right? What's going to happen if we break above resistance? There's a high probability we can continue pushing up towards, you know, 60, 163, 770, 46 pips away. So if you got a 46 pip range, you can easily get maybe like, you know, 20 pips out of it, 25 pips out of it because you have a pretty good range over there. But if you're looking at price action right now, if we measure this range, this is 26 pip range on a 30 minute time frame as well. You know, I mean, I just I think it's better to wait for price to kind of like you know on the 30 minute 30 minute time frame to break below 162 800. I would say. Will you stream the press conference? No. If I'm available, I will. But otherwise, no. Are you anticipating gold to do what's down in previous time frames to push down liquidity? Yeah, probably. Probably. We'll see. Probably we will see. Can I also take entry in gold now? Can you take an entry on gold now? Can you? The question is, do you want to? Do you want to take entry on gold now? If you do, I think it's going to be at the break of the previous candles high. Stops are going to be like 19 pips. So yeah, so inspiring. Major negative, especially the two trades a day already seeing a difference. Oh, very nice. Linda, Linda, thank you. Will pound yen be affected by FOMC a little bit? Yen, yen is going to be affected directly because there's going to be a massive change in the US dollar. So whenever there's a massive change in US dollar, yen and gold get affected. That's why you see a massive move in gold. You know, of course, it's also paired with the USD. So that's another thing. But yen is going to be affected a little bit as well. Anthony and Q Banks EA is five hundred thirty thousand dollar drawdown. Now, Jesus Christ. Yep. Yep, if money isn't made trading, how is it made? From you guys. What's your opinion on the smart money concepts? I think smart money concepts don't work. I think smart money concepts are built so that someone can show off their rocket science way of trading. That's what smart money concepts are. Uh, do NASDAQ, please send a chart and we'll take a look at that. Can we do 14? Can we go to 14,000 Bitcoin? Yes. 14,000 and the next stop is going to be probably 10,000. You could, you could go there. I, I'm, I'm also following your one to two trade strategy and Raja G, my trading losses is, is, oh, nice. Reducing trading losses. That's beautiful. Did we have pound yen? Um, ICT is suggesting to stay out of FMC as it will be a circus. Thoughts? I don't know. Go ask him. Why did you buy there on the running trade? I already explained it. Oh, why did I buy over here? Because I was hoping for this wick to be filled from the one hour because we created... Well, first of all, we made a high and then we came down, created support. And as this candle, you know, started, I just took buys because, you know, there was a rejection right here, but it's also small bearish candle. So, yeah, the idea was price to fill the range up over here. So, how are you saying if money isn't made trading, it's made from others? Same applies to you, nigga. Oh, <laughs> you act, you acting like you ain't mad. So people are supposing you left and right. LMAO. <laughs> Q-Banks. <laughs> Shut up. The range is too small. It was like 26 pip range, you know. So, uh, from my experience, I, I I think it was doable. So, yeah. I mean, price went in profits and put stops to break even. So, it's basically a free trade now. I'm in love with your mindset. One to two trades a day. Hard, but effective. Love from India. Thank you. Don Wu eats cat before trading. Oh. 
Uh, greeting from Somalia. Thank you. Um, nice. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens here today. NY, NY, NY session. Dominion Market is yours or are you just trading with them? Dominion Markets? Dominion Markets is our baby at this point. We've built it from the ground up. So it's it's it grew so fast, it's incredible. Um, does Dominion Markets have physical holding is in gold? No. Yeah, so before I started the stream, my whole thought process was that since we moved bullish in London session and since there's some sort of a likelihood that in New York session, uh, price corrects the move that we had in London session, I was initially looking for sales, you know, before starting the live stream. I was initially looking for sales, but I didn't, but I didn't get any, I didn't get any confirmation for sales. I think confirmation for sales for me now is probably going to be below 1673, come down towards 1670, and then continue pushing down towards 1666. If price will really correct the move from London session. So I think that should be the trajectory of a bearish price pattern to break below 1673, come down towards 1670, and then continue pushing down to 1666. I took this trade, had auto BE set for 8 pips, was stopped out at entry before securing. What's this? Pound Yen. Ooh, 10 pip TP was missed, oh. Yeah, that's okay. Break even is fine, you know. You got out at break even. That's cool. Because if you put your stops at break even, that means that was your plan. Break even was a part of your plan then, you know, but I would still, you know, I wouldn't be trading in this range. I mean, if you took a sell here and just price move down, yeah, that's, that makes sense. So I guess, you know, price is reacting to this little rejection within this range it had. Did you hear about your student controller effects is on a massive losing streak? Oh, wow. That's okay. I was in drawdown too. Can you explain you us your original stop loss for that trade? Yeah, it was uh, once we, uh, once price got in profits. I put stops below whatever it made that low. And then once it got in profits, I put stops at, you know, break even. So it's pretty easy. Really easy. Look at this. We went in profits. Stop loss was right here. This is where the candle started. And then I was like, yeah, okay, I'll put stops at break even. If it gets stopped out, it's okay. If it doesn't, still okay. Um, one in-depth video lecture on fake outs is needed, please. I don't know. What are you looking for a sell? I'm looking for price to break below 1673 for a sell. That's what I'm looking for here today on gold. Below 1673 for a sell. If I get it, I get it. If I don't get it, then you know what can we do? Nothing. Can't beg the market. The last thing we want to do is beg the market. Beg for it to come back to break even. Beg for it to come back and profit after being a big drawdown. Can't beg. How's the leaderboard going? So today I'm going to be announcing some um, updates for the leaderboard. Uh, there were some accounts who were on the top. And now those accounts are coming down. And they're being replaced with other accounts on the top. So it's going to be very interesting. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, yeah. Do you have any trading plan platform for trading plan, trading view platform for execution with dominion markets? No. Trading view wants around 15,000 a month for that. And no. <laughs> Basically, no. Are you ready to pay taxes for Forex profits? Yes. I'm back in your stream. Thank you. Wait, are you looking for a sell? No. Yeah, well, you know, we'll see. If I get confirmations, then yes. Oh, wow. Very nice. Look at that. Broke above the high now. Hopefully, we can continue up till 1678. Yep. 
1678. Hey, good morning, Elias. Uh, Salam, Raja from Pakistan. I've made 10% 10 account Dominion best broker ever for withdrawal. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. What made you take this since previous trading kind of was bearish? I already explained it. I know you already explained the trade, but I joined now. Can you explain why? No. Uh, what's your native country? Pakistan. Happy trading, my brother. Thank you. Why never you use indicators? Because indicators are lagging. Indicators will never never tell you where price is going to go. Never. Never, ever. Um, because, you know, I used to follow a lot of, um, like, you know, these trading gurus on YouTube. And back when I started, they used indicators left and right. And I was like, oh, wow, that's crazy. You know, so ever since I came on YouTube, and ever since my YouTube started growing, and um, honestly, my YouTube has grown more than the people I used to follow back then. And I've seen that they've adopted the same kind of simplicity as I show on YouTube. You know, it could be a coincidence or maybe they've realized that price action is the best thing ever out there instead of indicators. But that's that's the change I've seen. It's Mirza here from Lebanon. Oh, I was with you in Dubai. Event with Abdullah just started. Remarkably. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Mirza. I think I remember that face over there. To so small, but I think I could. Um, how much should I risk on a funding account? It depends on your trading plan. How configure this candle? Parrot marketing. Um, I don't know, but I already explained it. Wouldn't you set up your corporation over there then in Canada, in Dubai? Yes. What are the top firms you can recommend? Every firm works the same way. Every funding firm works the same way. Um, I've partnered with a firm called FXM Funding. The link in, is in description. Um, I've partnered with them because they offer salaries to live traders. But, but only go with the funding program if you are consistent on your account. Otherwise, it's going to be very tough. I have some photos with you. Oh, send them to me, man. Those photos. Send a link here in Zoom and, I'll, and uh, let's show it to everybody. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take a look at this chart by Timo. My trade on pre-London on GJ. Okay, pre-London volume. Oh, you took a sell over here. Close it. Very nice. Beautiful. So you got the news. All right. So we got a question over here. Ali, man, just topics on religion. They have no. Okay, let's see here. Do you believe as a Muslim that deception will always be answered for especially in money related matters? Deception, when it comes to money related matters, it's never going to end. The most pious of Muslims do that too. It's never going to end, unfortunately. They are next to no genuine traders in Forex. Everyone is doing something shady in the background, especially the Muslim ones. They're the worst for having no dignity. I agree with that. I'm going to turn 500 USD to 1,000 and use that to get funding account. That's correct. Your tweets available. Thank you. Are you trading FMC? No, I'm busy today. Doing FMC time, I'm busy today. What's your secrecy of becoming a successful trader? One or two trades a day. Q-dubs, why you always make big wins when you're off stream? He usually don't stream at the side, but in the process, just news is bullshit, not real money. Thank you. Can you explain why the technical analysis behind your current gold trade? Already explained that. You seem to have fun in Miami. Is Miami fun? It's a lot of fun. If you have good friends, by the way. Good friends make things a lot of fun. Me and my friends always followed you, dear brother. Thank you. All right, looking at pound yen, nothing. We're waiting for price to break above 163, 300 on pound yen to continue on. What was it like hanging out with Iron Man? He's even trained for. Yeah, it was actually fun. You know, Iron Man. It was actually a very, very good. I would say it was a great vibe. The energy was amazing. It was. It was just pretty good. Uh, gold touch four-hour resistance. Is it not ideal to close the trade now? Um, not yet. Not yet. This is something I want to let it run to see if we continue till 1679. There's nothing more boring than a market pre-market news. That's correct. Was Daniel Savage hiding? Yes. I even messaged him, but he didn't reply. You have got time reading all the messages. It seems you enjoy it. Yes. If you don't use indicators, what are you using? I'm using one indicator. EYES 2.6. Version 2.6. No, version 2020. EYES version 2020. 
Did you share your last trade idea with Slack team? I don't share any trade ideas with Slack team. I share analysis. I share where price can go. But, you know, we have a lot of info in the database, tools, knowledge that helps you execute on those moves. I don't do signals. Uh, sometimes, you know, on Twitter, I've been doing signals here recently. But, yeah, that's, that's about it. Does Domain Market have Android apps like IC Markets? No. I joined Twitter yesterday because of you. Oh, thank you. Like a lot of people have joined Twitter. Just thank you, man. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Do you still use Chinese indicator? No. Oh, actually talking about Chinese indicator. Let's take a look at pre-market pre -market data. Pre-market data on CNBC. Hmm. Flat. We're flat. Nothing's happening over here. We are flat. See all those numbers? We're flat over here too. You know, it's very calm before the storm. Like honestly, if you just look at the charts, if you just look at the charts in a way that the charts are, you know, emitting some sort of energy, you're going to find that it's very, very calm. Pound yen is very calm. Gold is very calm. Resistance. We may range till a frenzy. There's nothing happening. Please check my trade and give your thought. Let's take a look at this, Mr. Atisham Bukhari. Oh, very nice. I think this is a very good trade to test the range. You have a better entry than mine. Very nice. Will you come to California? I'm going to give you some cookies. Perfect. They, they must be the good ones. The good cookies. <laughs> Will you make more? money then fomc that's why you won't participate i uh, know i'm busy meditation session by raja banks bro is the main reason you grew your account from 50k to 3 million leaving trades run from pre -learning, pre learning yes that's correct invite g1 to give some details on fomc i might want to invite an english teacher to teach you how to spell correctly why is this luxury man pasting same comment again and again okay let me just spam Send him to the gulag. There we go. You're so calming, I'm falling asleep. Ha ha ha. Why did you take the previous buys if the left side was dirty? Do you not follow a damn plan, gold? I already explained that. Is I is a true indicator because I can't find online? Yes. Why YouTubers use indicators and trading is about indicators. You're using only support resistance lines. Oh my god. Did you get to see the me messages regarding motivational talk? No, but I will. Abhi check karte hain ji, abhi check karte hain. Self-made multi-billionaire. I do call up. Self-made multi-billionaire. Okay, okay, okay. Eleventh October, very nice. All right. Oh yes, I remember this now. Yes, I remember everything now. Oh look at this ugly jacket. Man, look at your shoes so clean. I remember this now. Thank you, man. This is a this is a memory over here. Very nice. What's your average risk per trade? In this trade, my risk was, where is it? So in this trade, my risk was um, 8,000. Zero point two percent But it's, it's, it's mostly like one to two percent, mostly one to two percent. The way you read the comment and then only say no is hilarious. <laughs> Can you explain the trade you took yesterday at pre-London? I think we explained. No, I didn't explain it yesterday because there was no. Um, there was no 
stream yesterday. So, oh yeah, it was this one right here. Yeah, it was basically um, London Open and, you know, it was London Open and expect the price to move up with volume and yeah, and we had clean range to the left and side, so that's why I took this trade. Yeah. Oh, had a loss over here too. Fifteen thousand dollar loss. Tried buying gold. Yeah. All right. So so far, what's your opinion on Ted not liking funding companies? I, my man, I don't know. He's my friend, but I don't know. If you start ranging, if trades start ranging at this point, will you close it before opening? And why? Yeah. I mean, as long as the thirty minute candles close bullish, I'll leave it open. But seems like the volume is dying on the 30 minute candle. Are you in Miami? No. When you buying the yacht from Fraser, I don't know. I was actually looking at those yachts and they're pretty, they're pretty achievable, like 2 million, 2.5 million. I mean, you know, you, you could, you could put down 500,000 and finance the rest. Yeah. Starbucks? No. Commodities going anywhere and take any price? Yes. Which levels do you look on the left? I'm I'm gonna see how this candle closes here in the 30 minute time frame. The issue with the yachts is the maintenance. Yes. Can you execute a 300 lot trade? Yes, I can, but I wouldn't do that. I know you trade the news with sell stop and buy stop, but what's your view on FOMC? I don't know. I think this move up is a liquidity grab to push down on FOMC, push down and then the press conference to talk about inflation and then we can push right back up. Why are you using smaller lots on a current trade? Because, because this is a trade I wanted to execute on. So I didn't want to go with like, you know, full lots I can so that's why I'm using it with a smaller one can I do 300 here actually oh I can do 300 on pound yen I can't the maximum on pound yen is uh, oh it's 100 maximum on pound yen is 100 can we do 120 no it's 100 on pound yen gold 400 oh wow 400 500. Oh, max on gold is 500. 550? No. 501? No. 500. A lot. Damn, that's a lot of risk over there. 500. The other day I read Uncle Ted has had three losing days in the last two years. Why do you think he's successful? Just one or two trades a day. And patience, he waits. He's very calculated. He takes calculated risks. He's, he's really good. Is it possible to have Uncle Ted on one of the stream webinars in the future? I really enjoyed the psychology section. Besides the knowledge, would love to hear him. Nice. He's been on here and there a lot of times. You know, he comes and goes here and there. I didn't know you can get tax deductions on private jets. You should get one and charter it. Yes. That's what a yacht is going to be for. I remember when you started the 550,000 account, I was trading 200,000 FTMO thinking to myself, what the hell am I doing with more capital than my mentor lost that account? Oh. <laughs> um, in the meeting, they speak about inflation. I don't know. Will that make push up? If they do, yes. But will they? I don't know. Your current any 15 minute close with no remuneration was, was this the strategy? Yeah, basic idea was price to fill the range over here. And I've seen this pattern here before, you know, a candle goes up, next one closes like a, you know, like a doji candle and next one just continues push it bullish. Will you take the trade off with who? Uh, what the hell was the logic behind the current trade? Uh, you know, it was whatever. Will you stream FMC? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Please guide me whether I'm in the right path. I'm a philosopher. Develop the trading process, taking three trades in a day. Nice, very good. Move gold moving down to 1763. 
You know what? I'm look okay, so yeah, it closed bearish, so there's no point in holding it now. It's just gonna secure 10 pips over here. But um yeah, I mean if you do break below 17 1672, I'm selling it to continue pushing down. Yeah, actually, let's do that over here. Let's risk the profits I made and sell this, anticipating to just dropping. Right? So what was this right here? This was uh today this was a semi hundred dollar gain yeah just yeah yeah let's just risk 80 percent of that and um yeah why not right <laughs> why not the trade-off with ict he said he accepts but only on a neutral broker platform well look at this at first he didn't accept at all at first he said trade futures but now he's down to doing the forex thing right and then slowly he's going to come down to okay and neutral broker platform what does that mean this is a neutral broker platform we don't control liquidity it's not like i'm controlling liquidity liquidity is the same on all brokerages it it still should be the same thing you know and if things go wrong then he can blame us right he won't use the mean market he said you had a trade off stream and it's proof you can edit an account <laughs> okay perfect clayton west how come I didn't edit my $15,000 loss or my losses that that I have? How come I didn't do that? People are so stupid. All right, there we have, we have some spamming over here in the YouTube chat. Let's get rid of that. I know you already made a video about compounding 2.5 to 5,000, but account, just wanted to hear a little bit more. Compounding goes hand in hand with consistent trades. That's what it's gonna be consistent trades you have to stay consistent in trades i think most of the times we think about you know how much are we going to make or or like you know what the percentage gain is going to be but in the beginning i think i think the most the better thing should be to see um like you know whether you can take a winning trade in a specific session that's going to be the most important thing to start uh Let's see here new deposit new fortune that's correct are you profitable on the stream this whole month some some trades yep but most trades that have been off the stream i've called out on twitter as well so twitter my twitter has been straight signal straight signal tweets what makes price action strong in pre-london no news at that time yeah there was news putin news uh, for a scalpel like me, I would have closed that your recent trade many times over. <laughs> no, just let it open, you know, let it open. Um, invite Forex sister to your stream. Never. What's your daily gain target? Around 2%, 1 to 2%. Your trader trades are called out pips after the trade. It doesn't count. Yes, it does. The idea is given like five minutes before, 10 minutes before, you got to use your brain. Oh, that's that same troll over there. Um, straight signal tweets, no man to love, only straight. Yes, I saw your video. You have indicator called Super ICT. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Please arrange a meetup in Lahore or Islamabad. Probably it's going to be in Islamabad. I wanted to have it this weekend, but it's too close. So I think it's probably going to be next weekend. All right, look at this. Pound yen is pushing up over here. We're pulling on some stream. Pulling on some stream over here above 163.350. I think there's clean range for price to continue pushing up. Clean range. Can we adjust? Can we adjust this like this? Right? Yeah, we can adjust this like this. Perfect. Don't you think this is a retracement to go up further? No, I don't think so because, you know, we're coming up over here and we created a resistance. So now you got to ask yourself that why did gold create resistance? So you look to the left-hand side and to the left-hand side, you see that there was a there was a resistance formed here before as well, right? Number one. Number two, we've had a very good push up in London session. Now, most of the time, I'm not going to say like 
90%, 80%, I would say like most of the time, maybe like 60, 70% of the time, whenever you have a move on gold in London session, that most of the time gets corrected in the New York session. So now when you put this two and two together, that's okay, we form resistance, rejection, you know, so if there's a probability we will correct this move in London session, it should correct till 1670 at least. So keeping that in mind and watching this happen, maybe, you know, eight, nine times over the past two and a half months. That's the reason this sell is taken. And um, and that's why it's like a lower lot size here for me. You know, I've been practicing risk management and removing risk at the trade goes against me. I have brought my RR to over one to two and I've started to cut my losses more than 50 percent. My chart growth is an uptrend. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very, very nice. Beautiful, man. Well done. Uh, Raja, what scale for chart ha you have in MT? I don't know what you mean by that. What scale of chart? It's just scale fix. I just heard this. Guys, I'm, I'm not a complicated. I'm very simple. I'm a very simple human specimen. That's all I do. So, right? 10 pips in front of you guys. Mid... It's 10 pips right here in front of you guys. Oh, wow. Pound yen is offed it. What books would you recommend to improve my trading aside from trading in the zone? A 10 essential trades of Forex. That's a good book. Uh, good book. I took a buy on GJ earlier. Didn't go... Didn't go eight to nine pips profit for me to close that break even, so ended up closing fifty percent of the loss, and then the rest of the close the stop loss. That's not the biggest issue here. The biggest issue is I didn't take a second try on the trade, and it's a win. But because of the loss I took, the win is minimal, and I barely above break even. If I held onto the trade, my result would have been straight profit. Well, figure out why didn't you hold the trade? Figure out instead of closing the whole thing, why didn't you let point one run or point zero one run? Figure that out figure that part out because it went to where you thought it would like a lot of times you guys are going to take trades and they're going to go exactly to where you thought the price is going to go but your confidence is going to decrease through that trade and you're going to close the whole thing so instead of closing the whole thing let 0 0.01 run 0. you know 0 0.2 run 0 0.05 run something very small let that run so build confidence that way you know the more you let tiny positions run small positions run yeah, I close it because my stop loss is getting hit and I didn't believe in moving stop losses back there to okay. Well, I mean. You gave your trade a second chance. So, yeah, maybe next time that same opportunity, you know, maybe you can learn something more from from that. Look at that. What happened and try to see what's something you could have done different. Solve that problem. Look at that loss and ask yourself what could you have done something different there's always something you could have done different always and that's the battle you have to face all you need is 10 pips a day yes i built my entire fortune off of 10 pips a day what do you think of rates news today we'll see we'll see what happens so i'm going to put this i'm going to close 50 percent once it comes to break even just to you know make sure i lose less than i anticipated to lose um gold could push it up more by NY session due to Putin news. Oh, we'll see. We shall see how much that moves. Watching from Kenya. Great stream. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I over risked on GJ buy earlier. As a result, I ended up closing in loss early on 7 pip 15 minute candle return on candle in the direction. Uh oh. See now, we're at break even now after being 10 pips in profit. So my rule of thumb always is to close 50%. You know, obviously the greater target is right here. So this is just a, like a test trade I'm doing to see, you know, if I'm actually correct or not. Uh, do you enter trades once for five minute breaks? No, 15 minute. If the 30 minute candle breaks the highs within one minute and particular candle has no bottom, we can you take that trade rate for a retest. You have to watch it happen first. You have to watch it happen first and create 
your intuition. You know, work on your intuition that way. Most times, you know, when there's a lot of volume, it continues running. Learning session was pushing with no wick because of heavy volume from Putin news. Yes. Will you stream the FOMC? No. Do you take compounding risk while your account is growing? Yes. Risk management on $50 account. Withdraw it. Um, almost happened five times and don't able to take the trade. Okay, perfect. Now, if that happens the sixth time, take that trade. Omar Agog, I'm actually a very big man. I'm now a happy 200,000 funded trader after being break-even trader for years. Entered my first ever 10 lots on GJ. Market fluidity worth every friendly. Oh, nice, Kareem. Very nice. Very nice, Ethan. Then where do we place our stop loss? Below that candle, you know, or above that candle. If you're going to take the trade, no. I don't know. I'm going to be driving that time, so we'll see. Is ECN the safest type of broker? Every broker is safe. What funded prop firm would you recommend? FXM. What was your first three account balance? 200, 700, and 5,500. Let's take a look at this chart over here. Oh, very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. This was also the news, so remember that, right? Keep that in mind. That was also the news. Tell us your absence. Tell us your absence from YouTube. My absence from YouTube is more than minimum wage. What about XNS Broker? Dominion Markets. Sign up to Dominion Markets, at least with Dominion Markets. You can use your commissions to help yourself with education. Market fluidity, magic keys. How did you know about the Putin news after I saw it on Forex Factory? I wasted years trying to run up a $10 account for over, over a year. Man, you got a lot of time. I've been trading since years, but never learned to structure the information for execution. I'm learning that now, market fluidity. Oh, very nice at the sham. Mashallah, very, very nice. Four to five months, it will skyrocket. Best advice for finding consistency. One to two trades a day. That's it. What leverage do you suggest? Um, 100 to 1 is pretty good, I'd say. 100 to 1 leverage, I'd, I'd say it's still pretty good. How can we avoid making haram money on Forex? Don't you think leverage is haram? No. Leverage is not haram. I don't know. I haven't thought about this. I don't I don't think about that. I don't think about that at all. No, I don't think so. Swap. Swap fees are, you know, but only open an Islamic account if you're going to hold trades over a day. That's when you get charged swap. I'm trying to quit smoking. What should I do? Just quit. Oh, one to two trades a day. <laughs> Are you going to take a trade even though you're not uh, trading FOMC? No, I'm going to be driving. So we'll see. Uh, how many pips per day for intraday traders? Depends on your trading plan. Depends on your trading plan, man. Um, yeah. Uh, the first step towards quitting smoking is dropping down to one to two cigarettes a day. And after that one to two cigarettes a day, just stop. Um, is your market regulated? We're not regulated in major jurisdictions. I is indicator. How do you usually trade FMC? Can we smoke in London session? How much you earn in one minute? Have you ever calculated? Nope. Um, do you know any profitable trader in 25? I know many. I sent an email to Magic Keys two days, still didn't respond. Well, this isn't Magic Keys Support Center. I hate to break it to you. This is a live stream. Suggest best prop firm. Z tells China military to focus on prepping for war. Yeah, this candle is about to close over here in 15 minutes. The 15 minute candle is closing and I do think we can continue pushing down. How many accounts you've blown? That's irrelevant. You did not answer my question. Sorry. I find it easy to be profitable as long as we don't do stupid trades. That's correct. Prediction for gold during FOMC. I don't know. The main thing is going to be if they talk about inflation during press conference, I think gold will continue pushing bullish. They just have to talk about inflation during the press conference. 
Where should I enter on this trade? Yeah, you can, like, I entered right over here. Where I entered, I entered right over here. You know? But, it's not like where you enter, it's like how much, how many times have you seen this happen? And then, break this down, where you're gonna enter. You have to break it down to yourself, explain it to yourself. When I explain it to you, I'm explaining from a point of view where I've seen this happen multiple times over the last five years. You know, and I can comfortably execute on this. And I can comfortably um, accept the loss as well, if that happens. Why you move your stop loss above the current 15 minute candle? Why did I move it? I didn't. If we are bullish in a trend and once support is formed, we should look for next resistance as a target. Yes. And if you break support, then there's a potential to go down. Um, Dominion Marcus, you can uh, sign up if you're in the US. Just choose crypto as country and you can continue as normal. Withdrawals, crypto withdrawals are within 24 hours. Um, you know, if you're in the US, you get ACH bank transfers. That's pretty fast as well. Can you ask Jeevan to come and discuss the fundamentals on your channel? Well, if he comes up, then he comes up. Can you take two or more 100 lot trades at the same time in pound yen so you can get 200 lots or more? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we're going to wait over here so far. All right. In current scenario, how can we consider adding back 50%? Um, yeah, well, I mean, if we break below these lows, I think there's an opportunity to add them back. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, let's see here. It would be great if during market deposit withdrawal methods by credit card, they are credit and debit cards. Check your WhatsApp. I will later on. Check out Divergence. No thanks. How do you read news? Forestfactory.com. How much is the biggest loss in one trade? It depends on how much you're risking. Will DXY drop heavy after the news? I don't know. How many pips do you target for gold? I know for GJ it's 10 pips. Oh, for gold, I think it's around 30. <laughs> First made $50 to 400, then 1300. This is growing like crazy. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Someone's growing their $50 account like crazy. All right. What are your thoughts on swing trading? I think it's amazing. Five fifty dollar account is not going to work. <laughs> yeah, pound yen. All right, we're about to close over here in twelve minutes on pound yen. If you close a strong bullish candle, I think we can continue to push up. Do you know any forex trader that is more successful than you? Yeah, I actually know a lot of businessmen who are way more successful than me. I know people who make like you know ten million, more than ten million a year. You know, and they're guys who pull like, you know, two, 2.5 M's a month, you know, just business, just business, not even trading, let alone trading. Can we get Telegram channel for you? No. Twitter is very complicated. Well, welcome to the real world. No Forex trader, not business people. I have your magic keys and they lag so much, been causing me a lot of problems. Oh yeah? Magic keys is causing you a lot of problems? They don't lag at all. Magic keys don't lag. 
Let me prove it to you. I'll prove it to you, and mine are even broken. See this? I'll press the button. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Press button. Boom. It's not lagging. What do you mean it's lagging? What's your dream net worth? One billion dollar question mark. No. No. Um, you know, once you reach, once you reach a point where money is not as important, like, I mean, in, in, in the beginning, it's important, right? But once you reach a point, once you reach a point when, when anything you have, when anything you have, it's in abundance, right? The importance of that thing decreases a little bit, and then you start to focus on something else. You know, so when you reach a point in life where money is in abundance, meaning that you don't have to worry about bills or travels or vacations anymore because, you know, there's so much coming in and very less going out, you stop thinking about, you know, things like net worths or things like you want to buy or things that you want to do. You stop thinking about that. You start to think about what's something else you can do. Is there some other business you can invest in? There's some idea you can jumpstart. You know, you start to think about those things over time, you know. So for me, it's not about a dream net worth. For me, it's about what di what's different can I do? What's something else I can do at this point? You know, just like, you know, buy buying some properties in Dubai. That's going to be something interesting. Or maybe like, you know, buying a yacht. So if I do buy a yacht for maybe let's say like two, three million, then I'll have to generate that amount from one of my businesses to be able to afford that or to be able to finance that yacht, right? So then you start working towards that, that, okay, I need a certain thing. How can I achieve that, you know, or, or, or how can I make things work in order to be able to comfortably afford that thing? So I think that's what it is at this point. You know, you want to fly business, uh, like we checked out the flights to Australia, flights to Australia first class are like, you know, $6,000 per person. So we're like, okay, the whole family, if we go there, that's going to be six times four, $24,000 to go to Australia and come back. So now I'm like, okay, you know what? Like my wife said, okay, yeah, you know what? No, 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 it's too expensive, blah, 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 24000 for a week. Doesn't make any sense. So I'm like, okay, like, you know what? If a business performs a certain way till a certain time, then we then we'll be able to afford that, you know, but it also it doesn't mean if you have, let's say, a million dollars or two, three million dollars, you're, you're just going to go out of your way and spend, you know, that much on a week flight. No, it doesn't make sense. You know, like financially, economically, business wise, it makes no sense at all. So have, having a lot of money, it also doesn't mean that you're, you're just going to start spurging and, you know, doing all those dumb stuff. So, yeah, I think there's a point where you have to really justify doing certain things i think it's a waste of time to have a yacht no it's not it's great because we chartered a yacht in uh, miami for a day that was like fifty five hundred dollars you know so i think it's great it's great cash flow even if we finance a yacht let's say two million with five hundred thousand down that's monthly four thousand dollars you know that's monthly around four thousand around five thousand dollars so if you can you know rent a yacht out for like five thousand a day yeah, it's a profitable business. <laughs> park it in Miami or park it in Dubai, man, you're good. What time will FOMC stream start? It's not going to start. I'm busy. What do you recommend to gain a better basics of understanding fundamentals and how it moves the market, not just looking at Forex Factory? Um, um, you know, fundamentals, you learn over time. You learn over time as the news comes out as the like you know the macro economic environment changes over, over time you start to learn something new um like you know every week you know so this new thing about them increasing the rates and inflation and price really like you know gold moving based on what they say in the press conference you know that that's something new that has started happening in the last six months so as you look at prices, as you start to look at, you know, like different news and fundamental ideas and breaking news and events that happen, you start to formulate different different plans as time goes by. So I wouldn't say um, knowing how certain things work, like CPI, interest rate, NFP, that's good. But over time, as news comes in and as you see price move based on different news outcomes, 
you learn a lot more with time. Like I only started to learn a lot about news in the last what two years of my six, seven years of trading. There are so many boats in the sea, but it's none like me. Like me. Um, check out my trade, please. Okay, send it. I agree if it's for business, but for pleasure, don't think so. Um, hey, like, you know, like if you got money, sure, do it. It's the same thing as why would you want to buy a Bentley when you're comfortable with a Mercedes? People who are successful like yourself remain successful because you're smart with finance directors. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I, I hate spending. I don't spend a lot. Like if I'm going to do a big spending, it's probably going to be in an item that can hold this value or yeah, or I'm not going to spend it all. All right, let's take a look at this chart over here. This is, oh, nice, risky. Oh, wow, very risky over here because it's in consolidation, but you still made it work, Malcolm. The idea was correct. Made a low, a resistance you sold, Philwick and range over here. You made it work. Yeah. We leased one for 25,000 for five hours. Oh, wow. 25,000 dirhams. Yeah, in Dubai, they pay like premium prices for that. All right, so price went in profits and coming back towards entry. So this is where I'm going to close another 50%, right? So, yeah. Do you have any course if you can find it? Awesome. What is that chart? Uh, thank you. I should have waited for it to break support. Um, yeah, that would have been a better idea, but you still made it work. Shats FX broker swindled five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars is not a lot of money. Shall I go for news trade in FOMC? No, no. If you're a new trader, you should not be even thinking about taking a news trade because then you guys cry. Oh, oh man, I did what you do most times and I lost a trade, man. What did I do different? And my response to that is, why'd you trade the news? Don't trade the news. Don't. Don't be a dumbass today if you're going to trade the news. This goes for everybody. How come you're insecure at 10 pips? Uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating it to correct the move in London session. You know, if that happens, it happens. So, yeah. I'm profitable now. I deeply understand your strategy. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome, Mr. Wagish Sangeeta. We got three minutes left for the 30 minute candle to close. And then we're going to bring our stops above this 30 minute candle. Because if the next 30 minute candle breaks this high, then it's definitely not going up. And you're going to see how tiny of a loss we're going to have on this initial 50 lot trade. Why is my time different on MT4 than my, than my phone? Guys, listen. Whoever is on MT4 now, whoever is trading on MT4 now, remember this. Metacodes have stopped providing support to MT4. You can Google this. It's a fact. I just don't say things out of my head. This is facts. You Google it. Metacodes do not provide support for MT4, meaning whatever happens with whatever platform you're on and it's on MT4, I mean, whatever happens, no one's going to be able to rectify that because Metacodes has no support for MT4. So that's why I upgrade to MT5. That's why when we started a platform, we opted to have MT5 as our platform because there's no problem. So look at that. We're back at break even now, close 50%. Right, and let's put it where it was because we got to wait for the candle to close. Can you trade indices with the mean markets? Yes, I had a 1.64 lot trade and lost 100 pounds even after risk management with a total stop loss of 17 pips. I was doing something wrong. It waited for price to move so far before it moves over. Oh. What's this? Something wrong in waiting. In waiting for price to move so far before it can say move to stop the break even. That's an interesting statement. I must be doing something wrong in waiting for price to move so far before considering moving and stop the break even. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh. 
only move stops to break even if you're securing profits. Yeah. Yeah, only move stops to break even if you are... Oh, there we go. Thirty-minute candle close bearish. Stops go up over here. Yeah, only move stops to break even if you are securing some profits. Do you think GJ can correct today's whole move? Oh, wow. Look at that. Strong ass close over here. Pound yen just rock cocked itself out of 163.200 and closed at 163.460. Yeah, we got clean range to the left inside, so I think this should continue pushing up over here. Managing a trade feels way better than winning a trade. Yes! Guru Prasad, yes! That's absolutely correct. Managing a trade feels way... Because look now, this is a rejection over here. This is a rejection. Thoughts on non-repainted indicators. Don't know what the hell that is. Let's take a look at this chart. Um, oh, wow. Look at this. Pound yen. Got the simple entry as the high got broken of secure. 90%. Oh, well done. Unlicensed room. Very, very well done. That is beautiful. Very nice. My last lesson now is how to manage a trade. Yes. What's your max stop loss for every trade in gold? Depends on how the candles are printed. Mr. Faz Vlogger. Uh, this candle break the high of the previous candle. You took a buy. Didn't work out. What am I doing wrong? You're a victim right now. So look to see how you could have given your trade a second chance. Because I can see that here now. Look to see how you could have given your trade a second chance. And also see what time this move happened. Yeah, so. Oh, Agag gets pretty mad over here. Can you please talk in Urdu for a few seconds? No. How much do you every time target for gold and pips? Depends on how big the range is. It's London Open. Oh, London Open? Yeah. Prob probably look to see how you could have given your trade a second chance. 100%. 100%. Do that. How you could have given your trade a second chance. Thank you. Thank you for 2 euro donation. What do you think of volume as an indicator? doesn't doesn't exist there's no such thing as a volume indicator how can we make 50 percent profits you can't so look at this now so we're going to zoom in oh yeah see close this right here because we're breaking the high we managed the trade could have secured 10 pips but the idea was price to correct the move from london session and what was the outcome 800 dollar loss on a 50 lot trade This trade was open. This trade was open even before uh, the stream started. 75 lot. Um, how much do you every time target for gold in pips? Depends on how big or small the range is. Where is Tet at that mythical unicorn? I don't know. Either we should correlate gold and DXY. No, I've simulated. How can I journal my trade? It's better to really, really remember my entry. How can you journal your trades? There's a website called Trixie. Trixie dot trade. Let me write it down over here. Trixie dot trade. You can go over here and you can journal your trades. Thoughts on impulse entry on GJ if the 30 minute high gets broken. Uh, yeah, it's going to be risky. Um, someone sent a trade idea here earlier on and that was really good right here. Look at this. Mr. Sakaran Beer 9. This was a very good trade idea, actually. We broke the high, the guy took the buy, and volume drove price up. Very nice. Very nice. So I would look at that, and I would tell myself, okay, you know what? I've missed this buy. But if I really want to take a buy, I want price to come down to create support and then go up. Controller effects can't manage risk. That's correct. I also sent him a message yesterday. Telling him he has zero innovation, he has zero ideas of his own, and he just copies me, and he didn't reply to me because I guess he was ashamed to reply back. If Raja lost 10 pips on a 50 lot, it would be 4,000. Damn, only 800 is amazing. Thank you. Coach, will you have time to stream London? No. When you trade live account now, 
The candle is too big on GJ. Yes. The value in these live streams is incredible. Trading live with the students has been amazing for me. Thank you, Christine. Thank you. I think this is something amazing that we started. Why are you beefing? He's a good guy. Stop crying because he's a little beef. <laughs> Would you either we should correlate DXY with gold? No. FOMC stream? No. I'm busy today. Yeah. So, gold consolidating, pound yen broke out, you know, so we need a retracement, create support, and then go up. Is it possible to make 10 million a year with gold trading if you're an experienced trader? Of course it is. Of course you can make 10 million. Of course. Will you look at potential entries for FOMC? Even though you're not streaming. E I'll be driving actually, so I don't know. I can't answer that. Do you wear glasses or contact lenses? No, I have 2020 eyesight. I told you guys before, I'm the perfect human specimen. I have 2020 eyesight. I mean, if anyone has 2020 eyesight, you got two arms, two legs, you have no disabilities, you can eat, breathe, walk, talk, run on your own, you are a perfect human specimen. You are so toxic. Thank you. <laughs> Love from Malaysia. Thank you. Most of the time when candle breaks the candle high in the first five minutes, it comes back and stopping me out. Well, then stop taking those trades. What you'll do if you have a bad day besides then hitting the gym. Um, when I don't hit the gym, I have a bad day. So I try to hit the gym every day. If MT5 is better, then why brokers offer MT4? Because the license of MT5 is expensive. It, MT5 license costs more than MT4 license. 25000 a month just to retain an MT5 license. And then you got to pay liquidity fees. And then you got to pay um, all the order fees that go in liquidity. Like, dealing with liquidity providers and banks, man, it's... Well, Bad. It's it's, a, it's borderline trying to get a mortgage. That's how bad it is. Your attitude is why you are where you are. Don't change except keep letting better and better. Good job. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I think this is why these four extremes are the best four extremes in the world at this point, especially on the internet, because of the vibe we have, because of the way we answer questions, and because of the way there's like you know like a no bullshit approach to everything. What's your opinion on FOMC? Sure, you can trade it on four hour. I wonder how much money Omar lost to spending. Yeah, he's we, no one knows his name actually. Uh, what about C Trader license? No, it's even more expensive than MetaTrader. Most people say swing trading is not worth the risk. Well, you know, it's up to them. It's up to them. You have to understand, whatever someone says, whatever someone says about anything, right? Again, whatever someone says about anything. They're saying it from their own perspective. Whatever, like, you know, whatever experience they've had with certain things, they can only talk about based on their perspective, based on their experience. That's why, like, you know, when you start a business or when you start to do something new, you ask somebody, they will tell you, they will give their opinions based on how they see things, how their perspective is, how their experience is in, in that, whatever you're trying to do, you know, or whatever opinion you're trying to get out of them. You know, so that's what it is. So whenever you see, so when you ask someone about certain things, they'll give you um, answers based on their opinion. Just like me. Like, you know, I give you guys answers based on my experience. And like, you know, that's my opinion. What opinion I have on FOMC, I'm going to tell you what I think. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I'm right. But I tell, tell you this, I'm 50-50. You know, so, and I appreciate it that a lot of people value my opinions. I think that's a very, very uh, prestigious position to be in. So... Yeah, that's the most truth I've heard on YouTube, my man. Thank you. Do you have a good success rate with trading news? Um, I don't know. It's very tough. Me and news have a very, very... Um, um, it's a love-hate relationship. I've been looking into what moves the market in London session, and there's something called comics. Oh, nice. They usually enter the positions 4.30. Comics also happens in New York as well at 8.20 a.m. Eastern. 
um, London fix is 345. Okay. You, we wish you could stream every day. Yeah, I wish too. Why Don removes his live streams? He doesn't. Supply, demand, support, resistance. They're both the same thing. All right. Pound Yen needs to create support to go up. Tell us about your contest with ICT. Yeah, I got I got an account right here. Funded a $100,000 account for ICT and Anton Creel to partner on. They can partner on this account and they can make whatever they want to make on this account and they will get paid out. If they don't get paid out, man, you guys can just, you know, then I'm going to shut my platform down. I have an account ready for them, $100,000. It's all real. Look, it says right over here. Like, it's a, it's a real account. Um, any gold tips, perhaps? Yeah, just one or two trades a day on gold. See that? See where we closed? Manage risk. Close the trade as it broke the high. It broke the high. It moved up. And this would have been an unnecessary drawdown at this point. You know Anton Creel? I know him and he knows me. Trust me. Everyone in the Forex industry, trading industry, everyone knows everybody. Everyone knows ev everybody. They see everything. They notice everything. They don't comment on ev everything and they don't like everything. But everyone sees everything in this market. Trust. How does brokers work with cash back Forex? I have no idea. How do you overcome... I think they give certain commission rebates and then cash back to give you guys money like i don't know what that means how long does it take to deposit money to the main markets so i'm using wanda they always delay it in depositing my money depends how you're depositing crypto is you know within six hours four hours two hours crypto credit card is also within 24 hours so do you know dr dollar yes how to trial stop properly per month i don't know what do you think about jason sen i don't know I don't know, Jason Sen. Can you tell us about comics timing? 8.20. Anton Creel doesn't know who you are and he doesn't care. Yes, he does. He has mentioned Forex family. He knows Ted. He knows me. He knows us. And yeah, I'm... Oh, it's a troll. <laughs> Do you take trade of a 15-minute closer? No. Wow, look at this. Pound is coming to back, back down over here. We have to wait for price to create support and then continue to push up. What do you think about Alexander Gerchik? I don't know Alexander Gerchik. DA Forex strategy on Instagram. I know about them, but I don't know how they operate. I saw you took a sell. Would that have been considered counter trend trading? Yes. But we also um, we also broke it down as well as to why I'm taking that gold sell. Uh, if you a credit card to fund your account, does the withdrawal go back to the same card? Yes, goes back to the same card. Uh, if you want to change it, then we need bank information. They're not going to trade on a platform. How do Yeah, they're experienced. They're not. They're not experienced at all. Trust me. How I manage do not slippage to. You can't avoid slippage unless your position gets activated through spread. You can't avoid slippage. And that's what I've been trying to get at. But the problem is your position has to get activated to spread, but you need to be on the right side of the news for that to even be profitable. You know, so last CPI, I was very fortunate. My position got activated by spread and I was very fortunate it worked out. Previously, I got stopped out on an NFP. I got stopped out as well, so whatever. Is your relationship with your family and your friend become better when you become rich? It's the same. It's... It's the same. I, I have a very big heart and I think having access to funds I may not need later on in life. I think my heart has just gotten even bigger because of that. When looking for buys on pound yen, uh, once price creates support with best practice, 163, yeah, I mean... Below this area, you could argue that we have enough range for price to go down. 
163.196. So I guess the better thing would be to wait for it to create support over here somewhere and then continue pushing up, break above this high and continue to push up further. Do people actually do the chart time or some of us wait for Raja? Oh, as you said, your goal TP and stop loss depends on the range, but earlier you used a target 10 pips on GJ. So did you change your trading plan? Yep, I changed my trading plan on the fly. Uh, money just show you really are, don't change it. Raja's face was a classic. <laughs> sleep page of lower volume activity. <laughs> what the fuck is sleep page? What about Wally Baba? Yeah, Wally Baba's great. Yeah, you know, right now I'm just like, whatever is happening over here. We have NY Open coming up in 15 minutes. So if we do break below, I think NY Open can continue pushing price. So we'll see. Have you ever fe ever feared to trade in the beginning? Yeah. But um, in the beginning, there was a fear to trade because, um, because of confidence. Like I didn't have enough confidence, you know, it was, it, it's a confidence issue whenever you have a uh, fear of trade. Okay, let's take a look at what's happening in the world of YouTube here. My fellow live streamers. Let's take a look at my fellow, oh, my best student is live now. Obviously changed his name because I changed my name, copies everything, no problem. Forex sister. I heard she exposed Wally Baba. Forex sister ka maksad online mafia She's like she's like we are exposing every mafia in the forex industry. <laughs> Wally Baba. Oh Wally Baba's live. Perfect. I mean this is a hefty burden. What if any drops and you can't afford to drop any? Oh, this is something else. Let's take a look at another live streamer. Is he live today? He is not live today. Oh, no live today. Oh, uh, she said, and now I even see the great Raja joining my channel. What's the best risk of water quarantine? One to one. I keep blowing accounts after being at profit. How can I stop? I know one to two trades today. That's it. Just for, just one or two trades a day, man. That's all I did today, and that's all what I'm going to do. Does Luke continue streaming? I don't know. Do you still donate food on Thursdays? Yes. Do you ever fear to trade? Yes. Forex is haram, then why are you on the stream? Huh? Why are you on the stream then, mister? If you think this is this is this goes against the will of God and it goes against your religion, why are you on the stream? Why did you open this stream live forex? Just leave, man. Get out. Come on. Let's go. All right. Greetings from Hungary. Greetings. Why gold pushing up? Uh, maybe the grabbing liquidity to push down again. Um, <laughs> you look more and more younger. Thank you. Had a haircut yesterday. How to gain confidence after continuously backtesting? One, uh, how to gain confidence? See, the best way to gain confidence is if you want to execute on a trade, execute with a lower lot size, like maybe 0 0.01, 0 0.05, you know, and let that run. And like, you know, if you win a trade, then you can be like, okay, you know what, this is working. And uh, do that every day because these small positions, they will increase your confidence and increase confidence. Then, then, uh, like, you know, time is going to come and you're going to say, okay, you know what? Now, instead of using, instead of using 0 0.01 or 0 0.05, let me add, you know, let me use my regular lot size. So, yeah. Money changers are in the Bible. Okay. Uh, do some live stream with capital hungry. Okay. Mike. Oh, wow. I caught it. I was about to, I was about to get scammed, but I didn't. What time frame do you be mark up your charts? Um, 30 minute, one hour, four hour, but I go down from four hour to one hour and 30 minutes. As a profession trader, do you have target profit per month? No. No, I have uh, target wins per month. I, I want to make sure my wins are more than your my uh, losses. 
Uh, I think one day your kid plays many trades and you lost the whole account. No, it's not gonna happen. What percentage win is needed to be profitable? I have 15 pip stop loss, but 10 pip TP. Why? Oh, you have to troll. How do you know Hafiz Vasil? I don't know him. Plans for FMC? Yes. Staying on point? Yes. Do you really sold wedding jewelry in hard times? Yes, absolutely. We did sell wedding jewelry in hard times. There was such hard times, man. The rent was like 1300 Couldn't pay it. Sold, sold the wedding jewelry. You had to sell it. You got to do what you got to do. And I still, I, I, I even, I even um, thinking about selling my phone. And back then, I even applied for Skip the Dishes. If you guys don't know what Skip the Dishes is, Skip the Dishes is like Uber Eats in Canada. I even applied for that. I bought their little food bag for $150. And as I was driving home with the food bag to get ready to do orders, I was thinking to myself this. I thought to myself, I said, okay, if I do this for a week, if I do food delivery for a week, I'm going to make around... Four hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, three fifty to four hundred dollars, and then I said, "Okay, you know what? It's possible to make that from one trade. It's possible to make maybe four hundred a day from trading as well." That's that's what I thought, and 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 keeping that mindset, I returned that food bag that same day. I was like, "Okay, you know what? I'm just going to return the food bag." Oh wow, look at that! We're pushing up over here now on gold. Interesting. So I guess we can move up towards, you know, 16, 78, 80. It came later, but it did come. Can you please show me what software did you use to open software FX? Hey, you got to follow the instructions on their website, man. You don't need a software to install software FX. The instructions are very crystal clear. From Somalia, thank you. Thank you. Is this a real account? Yes, this is my real account. Can't wait for next mentorship. I've successfully saved money for that. Can't wait to meet you and learn from you. Thank you. Where are you? What city are you in? I think trading is fun. Oh, yes, Mr. Waleed. So much fun. Shahid bhai aage. Lene aapko. Afaka hoga. Sabko hoga. Check I don't know who that is. What do you prefer in FOMC news should go for buy or sell? I don't know, man. Open, buy or sell and let it play out. Hello, hello. Is your stop loss fixed or same lot size? Same lot size. My stop loss depends on where the candles are, actually. So we got NY Open coming up here as well. Uh, Pound Yen is retracing. You know, I mean, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how Pound Yen closes. We're forming some sort of a minor support on Pound Yen. 30 minute here as well. Oh, I got to charge my phone over here. I got two phones. One for now, 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 now. Yeah, I've still got about around um, seven minutes left. All right, I'll be back.
What are your thoughts on Bitcoin? Today after FMC, no thoughts. If the current 15 minute candle on GJ closes bullish and creates support, would you have a solid buy opportunity? I think a solid buy opportunity is going to be if we break above this high over here. That's going to be a solid buy opportunity. Oh, look at this. Gold is coming back down. Gold is coming back down. Four minutes left. Was that fun rolling in your chair? Yeah. <laughs> Are you break even for today? No. Shai Anwar, the legend of Pakistan. Ghribonka. Shai Anwar. Oh, I know this guy. He goes, Ghribon! Mere paas gaadi hai. Mere paas ghar hai. Millions of dollars. Tumhare paas kya hai? Ghribon! <laughs> that guy is hilarious. There's this guy. There's this guy. This, I don't know who, I don't know what he does. But every video starts like this. Poor people. I have cars. I have millions of dollars. What do you have? Every video starts with um, peasants. <laughs> so hilarious. Are you trading for FMC later? No, I'm going to be busy. I'm not trading FMC. I'm going to be very, very busy. I'm going to be very, very occupied. But listen, if you guys like the stream, a lot of new traders are going to find out about the stream. This lovely, amazing, knowledge-filled stream. And also subscribe. Subscribing also makes sure people know about the stream. And just spread the love, man. Just like. Hit the thumbs up. I'm going to hit the thumbs up with you guys. Only hit it once though, not twice. <laughs> do you work out and how you feel is connected with trading? I think working out is the best thing you can do for yourself. You go work out once a day. And maybe like, you know, maybe like, you know, four times a week. It's going to have a profound effect in everything that you do. I want some advice for you, okay? Where can you get your money if Dominion Market went bankruptcy? Where can you get your money if Dominion Markets went bankruptcy? Dominion Market can go bankrupt, whatever it wants. But when you deposit funds, it goes into compliance and then it goes into liquidity. That's how it works. Uh, who won the $100 that day? There was a guy named Fassel. Have you trade FTMO account or any prop firms? No, I did not. I, I've had my own account and I've, I, tr I just trade my own account. All right, so we got NY open in two minutes. Okay, Alex, I'll take a look at that. I'll take a look at that. Probably I'm going to answer maybe because after the stream, I got I'm I'm pretty busy till FOMC. Um, show your analysis later on Twitter for FOMC. Okay, I will. Official lens is copying Raja. See, no. I don't think so. I don't know. I think I have shown. Can dominant market make sense account? Yes. What's your thoughts on GJ? I think GJ is at a very interesting level. I think pound yen, if we do break above uh, 163, 530, there's a very good probability we can continue up till 163, 770. 24 pip range, easily you can get 10, 12 pips out of it. How often do you live stream? Cornelius Gaskins. All information is in the description. Does PKR 100,000 worth for trading? Sure. How was the new iOS? It's the same. It's, there's no, it's the same. They basically have everything that Android already has on iPhone. It's the same. And as you can see gold over here, notice where it's closing, right? Notice that it's closing under this resistance. What does this mean? This means the probability for price to go bearish with NY open is much higher than going up. Yeah, see, so this is the NY open now. So since this candle closed below this resistance, there's a very high probability to break the low, continue pushing down and more down. He made 10,000 from 800 account by watching your streams. Oh, very nice. Well done. If you are 3% away from passing a challenge and you have four trading days, would you take one to two trades a day? Yes, one to 2%. In London session, the GJ has broken higher time frame like daily weekly lows. Can this be retracement on NY? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, like to go up or down, to go down, we need to break 
back into this range to go up, we need to break above this area to go up. Do you know Sukhmadik? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got me there. <laughs> uh, give any tip for new Forex streamer? Uh, be consistent, man. Just be consistent. What are your goal lower target? Gold lower target is uh, 1666. What's the book on learning to read the chart? 10 essentials of trading. I'm understanding markets and know when it's good time to buy, but just can't enter the trade. I've tested and I know that my hit rate, risk reward still can't enter. Enter with a lower risk if you can't enter. Okay. NY open and, you know, gold rejected. We're coming up. We got to break above this area to go further up. Gold over here. Yeah, it's just consolidating. You know, like after NYC open, if we, if we still range on gold, I think there's going to be a huge, huge, huge move on FMC. Um, hope you're blessed. Look, man, I just recently viewed your channel and kind of new to trading community. I'm from South Africa and I'd like to start from the bottom up trading help. Yeah, just start from a YouTube channel, man. We have a lot of information. Um, can you tell us how trading changed your life as motivation? Yeah, I mean, trading allowed me to uh, jumpstart my businesses, jumpstart my real estate portfolio. So trading allowed me to do a lot of those things. But I think the most important aspect of trading was also to understand that, you know, you don't have to come to the charts and treat it like a virtual casino. Can't do that. And no matter how many times you tell this to yourself or no matter how, how many times you read that in trading in the zone or no matter how many times you hear that on a live stream, you have to focus on one or two trades a day. Because if you don't, trading will never work for you. You know, and it'll be very, very frustrating, you know, and you're going to look up to certain people and you're going to see them win. And when your own progress is not going where you thought it would go, then you start hating on the people you used to look up to. You start calling them a scam. You start telling, oh, they fake their results. Oh, they do this, they do that. Just because you are not consistent. Because you can't control your own greed. You can't control your own discipline. So the day you start controlling your discipline and the day you start seeing some sort of a success, you turn around and say, oh, okay, I see this guy making some good money. I will get there too because now I'm seeing some sort of success myself. You know, so that's what happens. Hey, Raja, still holding GJ. Do you think it has the potential to reach 163.70? Yeah, sure. I mean, we need to break above this area here first to go up. Are you going to trade FOMC? I'm going to be driving. So I don't know how well that's going to play out. So, yeah, I mean, you know, FOMC, man, it's going to be a big, big, big move. Let's take a look on the daily over here, right? So looking at the daily, this is interesting. And the reason why I say the daily is interesting because the daily candle hasn't broken the previous candles low which means it can go down if it doesn't break the high. It hasn't broken the high as well, which means it can go up if it breaks the high and respects the low. So that's very interesting. This current daily candle hasn't shown us where it's going to move. So FOMC is going to be something to watch for, especially the uh, press conference. But we'll, oh, wow, look at this on the one hour. This is screaming cells. I'm going to take a sell here with a 10 lot, small, small lot size, no problem. This is screaming. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's screaming sells over here. Because look at this ca candle body. This candle body has a smaller body. And then we have a big body candle. And then the body gets smaller. And then the body gets even smaller. So when the body is getting smaller and the wicks are getting bigger, this means there's exhaustion happening in that time frame. You know, so the one hour candle is moving up, but now you see candles are getting smaller, candle bodies are getting smaller, which means the momentum to push up is decreasing a little bit. So what happens when momentum to push up decreases a little bit? Price starts to go the opposite way. Price starts to go bearish. And also we can see that confirmation on a 30 minute time frame. You know, so this is expert level trading right now. This is 
this is when Michael Jordan comes on the chart. This is when Michael Jordan comes to the court and does a dunk, and you're like, oh, how did he do that? How, how, what, wait, what, when, when, how, how did he do that? You know, so this is expert level of trading right now. Raja Jordan. <laughs> then go with higher lots. No, no, not going to go with higher lots. I'm going to go with small lots. Assalamu alaikum. How many years you've been trading? Seven years. Wouldn't it be smarter to wait for 15 minutes? <sighs> you're 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 watching Raja Jordan right now. I'm sorry, but today you are different. Yes, I'm acting and behaving very differently, very strangely here today. What people want for themselves, they condemn when others have the same great irony. Yes, very funny guy. I know you from Twitch. Oh, thank you. A real fake account. Just like Uncle Ted, just do your research. Bagging pips. Then why are you on the stream then? Bagging pips. You started from small account? Yes. What did you anticipate a week full on a previous candle or is it just exhaustion? Man, I, I just I just broke down the entire analysis. I broke down the entire analysis for you. Just for you, I did that. So we're going to stick to one hour. We're going to put our hands back across our head. And we're going to watch profits roll in like no tomorrow. Um, in the beginning, what did you do for life while you improve your trading? In the beginning, what did I do for my life? I would work out every day. I made sure I would get a workout in. And, um, you know, I, I focused on one or two trades a day. That's what I focused on. And that helped me a lot. Um, yeah. In seven years, you got your account to 3.5. Um, yeah. Yeah, we can call that in seven years. In seven years, I got my account to 3.5. What is this? This is a gold cell. You don't trade as planned as usual at the moment? No. No, because I'm Raja Jordan here today. This is Raja Jordan dunking lots. <laughs> Raja Jordan dunking lots on price. <laughs> We're dunking on price. When will you be doing a session on liquidity grabs? I don't know. Haven't been announced yet. In what year for experience you become profitable trader master? Um, my disciple, I got better in 2017. Could you please answer my question? Sure. How much money deposit in first live account? Give me a tip. Maybe do like 200. Raja Jordan Peterson. Could you? If 30 minute GJ breaks the high, would you say the stop loss is too big? Um, if we break the high, stop is going to be 20 pips. Okay. If the next 15 minute candle breaks the high, then you can have the stops below that 15 minute candle. Yeah. Gold buyers still in control. Oh. What's your Dora hero, Ricky Muru? Ricky Maru? It's Dro and Huskar. Yeah, Dro and Huskar. Man, I'm getting a headache over here. I'm getting a headache. Um, interview with Alex was golden, informative, yet comical. <laughs> You've definitely grown into one of the first OGs of the year and the growth is insane. Wish you wealth more. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. We have a very, very big podcast here later on today as well. And uh, that podcast is going to be with um, one of uh, one of the guys I've known in my university. And now he is a very, very big podcaster now. Not like a very, very big podcaster, but he's he's out there. He's out there. So I think, I think this is going to be a very, very good podcast here today his name is i think a lot of people from pakistan you guys know him muzamil hassan oh yes so we're gonna be on his podcast later on today he had a podcast with sunny ali this guy over here i've seen him on tv sunil imran khan he had a podcast with him too imran khan the former prime minister of pakistan with mr ganju yeah so i think it's going to be a very, very good episode um is it going to be in english yeah yeah um part of it is going to be in english part of it is going to be urdu so it's going to be a mix it's going to be a mix 
Look at your fellow student, Saki Hagarwal. I don't know who that is. How would you trade based on daily and four if you're going to trade in part time? Um, in what year experience become profitable? 2017. After one year. After one year, Valentina. After one year. I'm not planning to go live on FOMC, guys. I'm not going to be live for FOMC. I don't know where you got that idea from, but I've been saying it since I started. What course did you pursue at Varsity? I was never at Varsity. What is that? Varsity. What's Varsity? Yeah, so looking back at gold now, we can see that the profits are starting to roll in over here slowly. Oh, university. I did computer sciences. Um, I did computer sciences and then uh, dropped out after seven years. Because it was just taking way too long. I kept failing. Are you afraid to go live on FMC? Are you afraid to go live? See, now here. Look at this. Now here. Uh, stop loss was right here, right? Oh, we're tracing over here. <laughs> Salam, are you doing FMC live stream? No, I'm not doing FMC live stream. I watched your interview with YouTube channel Name Secondary, enjoyed and learned a lot. Well, this is going to be another big one. If you've been on drawdown for three hours, do you keep your faith? Um, if this was me maybe four years ago, five years ago, I would hold the drawdown. But now I just, you know, I, I, I manage my risk. Thought on Fresh and Fit podcast. Roger is profiting today from commissions. The broker is his. No, I'm not profiting. If I pay $70 in commissions on a 10 lot, I'm saving maybe $30, $30, $40 I'm saving in commissions. But I'm still paying commissions. Oh, look, we're at entry now. Yeah, close it. You know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, do you have real estate in the U.S.? I don't, but I plan on getting uh, some sort of real estate. Your own commissions go into your own profit. No, they don't. It's still price paid to liquidity. It doesn't go in my profits. It's still price paid to liquidity. I just pay less because I'm paying a price. Pound yen sells um, only if you break below 163, 150. 163, 150. Grand Cardone. Thoughts on Grand Cardone? I think Grand Cardone is amazing. Everything I'll know about marketing, business, sales, all by watching Grand Cardone. How to purchase magic keys from commissions? Email incentives. E if you're trading on Dominion Markets, here's what you can do. If you're trading on Dominion Markets, go to Incentives, Commissions. If your commissions are 500, you get access to market fluidity. If you've paid 500 in commissions on Dominion Markets, you get access to market fluidity for free. Well, 500. And this is what market fluidity is. This is what you get access to, the database. This is the database. Everything and anything you need to learn on how to be profitable. So at Dominion Markets, we want you to succeed. We want you to be profitable. If your commissions have reached 165, you get magic keys, the physical version. You get magic, trusted by more than 15,000 customers. 15,000 customers can't lie. Look at the reviews over here. Just amazing, amazing product. Look at this. This, is, this was the first one. So Dominion Markets, all brokers are the same. Um, commission spreads, maybe some different here and there, but it's what they offer you as an incentive. So this is what we offer as incentives at Dominion Markets. Knowledge is a wise investment because once you're a profitable trader, you're going to stay on the platform for longer. And the more you stay on the platform, the more you trade, the better you trade, more money we make in commissions and the more profits you make and the more withdrawals you get. Because the biggest reason why people leave a uh, brokerage platform is because they can't win. They lose. So when you lose, mentally you blame the platform. 
but we want to make sure you win. How do you see your overall commissions? Um, you go to history, right? You go to history and uh, you right click right here, go to columns and then you select commission. Your commission is going to show up. So today I paid 1995 in commissions. You know, so I can use 500 to get market fluidity. I came in late. Any thoughts on FOMC later? Uh, I'm not trading FOMC. All brokers are the same. I have three times the spread on gold, but I have no choice. I'm on prop firm. Oh, wow. Prop firm. Oh, yes. Incentives were really backlogged with a lot of requests. So probably going to get that done in about, you know, 24 to 48 hours. We do apologize for that. And also the spreads are here to look at the spread on gold. Almost one pip. 1.3, 1.8, 1.7, 1.6. Yeah fluctuating spread pound yen as well you know euro euro usd zero spread zero spread euro usd oh 3.9 pip spread on gold holy that's crazy um wow 3.9 god damn that's like four pip spread over there All right, everyone, so I'm going to head off. Take care. Be safe. Um, don't screw up on FOMC. Just don't screw up. You know, don't don't be that guy. Oh, wait for Comic Comics. Okay, we're going to wait for Comic Comics. I trade on Hot Forex, but over three years, I'm on Dominion Markets now. All claimed commissions for microfluidity and magic keys. Oh, very nice, Timo. Yeah, I remember. We're probably going to uh, have to do a uh, review video with you. <laughs> Thanks, Salim. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got comic comics coming up in about three minutes. And the way with the way price action is printing itself, I think comic comics is going to push down. I'm new to your channel. Can you tell us what your strategy is based on? Sell gold. Comic Comics is about to happen. Mr. Binance ARVIP. Mr. Binance, I don't know what business you have trading Forex over here, but sell gold at <laughs> Comic Comics. I found my problem in trading and that's fear. I always close my trades before it touches a target and the result is my losses are bigger than my profits. What's your suggestion? Let a small position run. That's all what you got to do. Brokers slippage queue that they have the broke. Okay, so this is what happens, right? Um, the job of a broker is to give you the next best price of let's say gold That's the job of a broker to give you the next best price of gold from the market and that's from liquidity, right? Um, whatever price the liquidity provider gives a brokerage that's what's shown on your metatrader so let's say when you have news sometimes the price moves so fast that the liquidity provider let's say it's going to have 1674 the next price if a brokerage gets like 1671 that's the price that's going to shown to you and that's when you're going to have slippage because the next best price the platform got from liquidity was 1671. There's nothing they can do anything about that. Nothing. And that's what causes slippage because price moves so fast. Why don't you put stop loss on what? Where would I want to put stop loss? I do put stop loss. Look at this $80 loss on a 10 lot, $800 loss on a 50 lot. Just managing risk. This is a trade I took in a live stream here today. Why did you end up closing? Because I was like, yeah, whatever. What changed your mind? Oh, uh, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'll, I'll be driving at that time. That's why. All right, we got comic comics over here. What did you say was a good idea for GGSL? Break below support. Right here. Comet Comics is in the building. Comet Comics. Going downtown. Downtown. Comet Comics. Not sure you see though. So you can see how the volume is increasing. Whenever there's an increase of volume or whenever you have news, stuff like that, spreads increase a little bit. 
Um, so, yeah. I'm going to head off. Take care, everyone. You're so cool today. Not aggressive as usual. No, I'm in a very good mood. <laughs> I'm having... Oh, actually, I'm having Joher Joshanda. This put me in a good mood today. Joher Joshanda. Try that. All right. Take care. See you day after tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye bye, bye bye. Adios, amigos. Thank you, Raja. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Raj. Bless up, bless up. Always. Thank you, Raja. Yeah. Raja did. Raja did. <laughs> God did. <laughs> Raja did. Raja did. Fuck off. Oh, oh, aggressive. Oh. <laughs>